The thing that makes CoreLogic's custom dashboard so amazing isn't just that it visualizes data in a really clean and unique way, but also how easily it connects with the rest of the CoreLogix platform. Here are some examples. I have a graph here that's showing the activity of logs. The logs indicate traffic against different endpoints. So the logs are actually produced by a single application, and these are all the endpoints that application is hitting. What I can do is I can go up here, and I can select either create alert or create metric, and that'll create me an alarm based on this data or metrics. I can also, by the way, select individual series. If I do create alert, I get this really gorgeous UI that shows me um, the actual traffic and shows me where the threshold is going to be. So I can see up here that the 37.87 is roughly the thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the threshold at 37,000. Now what this does, it will only capture the cleanest thing. And this is really, really nice. You can clearly see um, what's going to be captured here. And then when I hit next, I automatically move to an alarm. The alarm is filled out. I have my query in place automatically. Um, I have my threshold set up and my group by already because these are all the features that were set in the dashboard. So I didn't have to do anything here. All I have to really do is just set a name and click create and I'm done. Now I can do the same thing as well uh, for metrics as well. So if I go down to here, this is a metrics dashboard tracking database latency. Once again, if I create alert, I can see some spikes here. I can see that the figure here, I can see it's about 300,000 roughly. So I can see there, and that gets me at that 300 millisecond line. And now I know confidently that I'm only at, I'm only hitting alarms when we get these really big spikes and we don't get distracted by these smaller spikes. Once again, you go next and you get some really interesting things here. You'll notice that this, um, this query here, this PromQL query, I didn't write this. The dashboard generated it automatically when I said I wanted to create an alarm. You can also see that the conditions are already set down there as well as webhooks for CoreLogix application. But this is the idea, okay, really fast, really easy alarm generation. And it's not just alarms, by the way, because we have a log uh, visualization here. We can actually generate metrics from this data. And when I click on this, you'll see my query automatically travels over. You can see that any filters I had in place were already there. Even the label, because this graph is grouped by the path that the uh, application was hitting, it's actually added that already as a label to my metric. So all of this is to say that rather than making all these things manually, what you can do is you can create your dashboards, visualize your data, and then define finely tuned alarms and finely tuned metrics to solve the specific problems that you can see in front of you. This is one of the real gems of the CoreLogix custom dashboarding solution.